Shalom, everyone. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international video. I'm Kenethia J or Kenethia Johnson. I'm Jordan. Welcome back. All right, Second Timothy. Second Timothy. There we go. 315. So, dear Heavenly Father, we got to do the Apostles' Creed. Sorry, I already prayed. I believe in God the Father, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in the Lord God, Jesus Christ, His only begotten Son, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit and born through the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. The Lord said, the only reason why this don't make sense to you is because you haven't, your spiritual eyes are still closed. Anytime you start hearing and seeing stuff of the spiritual realm happening down here and you call it crazy, you say it never could happen, the Bibles are just stories, you're a fake believer, it's because you're still, your, your spiritual eyes are still closed. You haven't experienced God in that way. Okay, but that doesn't mean none of this never happened because then God wouldn't be God. He wouldn't have all the dominion and power. Right, this that was God was cursed. This whole earth would be hell, like it would be no light. <laughs> I think He would have been had to come and rescue us for the new heavens and earth, like, cause no way. <laughs> I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Um, quick one God's transforming word. So it's going to, the Lord is speaking to two different people, okay? Okay, so I'll just read the first part of the daily devotional. When Kristen wanted to buy a special book for her, for Chow, I don't know if I'm saying it right, her Chinese husband, the only one she could find in Chinese was a holy Bible or a Bible. Although there, I'm sorry, although neither of them was a believer in Christ, she hoped he would appreciate the gift anyway. At first, I'm sorry, at first sight of the Bible, he was actually, he was angry, but eventually he picked it up. As he read, he became persuaded by the truth in his pages. Upset at this unforeseen development, Kristen started to read the scriptures in order to refute child. To her surprise, she also came she also came to faith in the Lord God, Jesus Christ, through being convicted by what she read. Okay. In the original language, the Greek for continue has the sense of abide in what the Bible reveals. I don't know what that means. Knowing that Timothy would face opposition and persecution, I get it, Holy Spirit, speak. Paul wanted him to equip, to be equipped. I saw the other person who keep attacking me, and so I see what the Lord is saying. Allow these words to transform you. Let me get to the second part later. This is, these are the enemies I keep seeing attack me. And so that's what the Lord is saying to the revealed people to the to the second samuel twenty two fifty, i will praise you lord among nations i will sing the praises of your name loving your enemies that's the message i'm getting for you too 
as as men of God. You are still here every day attacking Kenithia when you have a wife in the church or when you have a church and a path to go down to follow the Lord. These scriptures are supposed to transform you men of God. And so when things don't go your way, you don't revert and go backwards, but you keep going forward. You read the scripture, you do the same thing you teach other people to do. It's no different. We all have the same steps and stuff to do. My gosh. Don't be your own prophet, says the Lord. One of them, a prophet of their own. In, in the book of Titus, as he has said about, as he's speaking, he's speaking through the word as well. Don't be your own prophet, but he's blessed you with this power and this anointing to be obedient unto him. Even when you mess up and you miss out on opportunities. My gosh. Yes, Lord. And so Matthew 5, 44, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Every day you persecute me. Every day you, you decide to wake up and be my enemy. Even though I've left and asked to detach and, and left and did this, you're still being the devil and the evildoer. You're not respecting my no. And so the Lord is saying, these scriptures, he's supposed to change you. But he can't do that if you're your own prophet. And the Alex kept seeing the A yesterday too, for bishop or pastor. Everybody. That's what I'm saying. The Lord is not allowing you every day to attack Kenithia for no reason. But it's a setup for something. And in that setup from God, he's allowing you to claim grace and mercy by stopping your uncovered evil doings of, of work on people. These spiritual attacks, these psychic attacks where I can't get her, get to her this way. Well, I can't do this. I got to watch her. I got to come in the form as a, as a morning dove. Uh-uh. Move forward. I have seen God's faithfulness. God's transforming word has allowed me to love these enemies. Yes, Lord. Don't be your own prophet. That's what God was saying about Haman. Haman wasn't a prophet, but he was very prideful. He wanted stuff his way. He had Jews bowing down to him, but he didn't have Mordecai bowing down to him. And that bothered him. And so he got killed or hanged on his own gallows and trying to set or kill somebody else. That's the lesson. He initiated the wrongdoings. And so the Lord intervened for his people. And he said, I will intervene for my people against my people. 